So the other day I noticed I had a few secret objectives listed under Shattered Realm, so I decided to go over to light.gg to see what they were. What I noticed is that the objectives were around the legendary Shattered Realm completions, both solo and then each branch. While I was reading that, I thought that sounded awfully familiar. During Festival Lost, every season there are triumphs around completing as many branches of Haunted Forest as possible, and these triumphs were worded almost exactly like these past triumphs. Then I realized in last week's TWAB that both the legendary versions of Shattered Realm is launching next week, along with Festival Lost, which seemed like a strange coincidence. Suddenly it dawned on me that the new Festival Lost is the legendary Shattered Realm, and I have some information to back that up. Now, first off, Bungie routinely hides things in the game that are almost in plain sight, and when you look at them later, you're like, huh, I should have figured that out. They're famous for putting Easter eggs and things, and again, putting branches in there seems pretty obvious. The other thing now is every season when you have a new festival coming, so for instance, like last year when we had the dawning, you saw objectives and triumphs show up even though they weren't filled in yet. You saw those in the game and we don't see those right now. It's possible they could be out of this new patch, but that seems that's actually the patch that's coming out is not going to be huge. So I'm highly doubtful about that. So my guess is the triumphs that you have in the games are the ones that are currently in there for Festival of the Lost. Last season, the last Festival of the Lost took place in the Haunted Forest, occurred right before Mercury and other content prior to Beyond Light were vaulted. It occurred to me that the code for the Infinite Forest is also what the Haunted Forest is built on top of. You see, Bungie is working on cleaning up the bloat in their code base and rewriting portions of it, which is an ongoing task. The Infinite Forest, I, I do remember from way back in year one of Destiny 2, was held as some sort of revolutionary developmental achievement where they could reuse basically this thing that generated content to do all sorts of other things in the game, and it would help with reuse. This is back in the days when they were still with Activision. The thing is, it never panned out. You basically use the Infinite Forest for a few strikes and for the Haunted Forest, and honestly, it was usually the most annoying thing in strikes to get through. In the Haunted Forest, it was kind of fun, but again, they didn't really use it outside of those two activities. Also, Bungie has shown a recent tendency now to combine modes to keep their game easier to maintain. And, and if you're a software developer or if you're an IT at all, you, you know that this is something that's an ongoing thing that you have to do if you want to maintain your game and if you want to be able to release releases quicker. The bigger your code base is and more bloated is, it's going to have issues with maintenance and it's going to slow down how often you can make patches. For instance, getting rid of heroic missions from earlier in D2 but then repurposing the same icons, my guess is some of the same code they used to implement Lost Sectors, because when new Lost Sectors come up, it says new adventures. And those used to be things in the game that have been removed. So it just makes sense that all the code from the Infinite Forest gone now will make it where they can't do the Haunted Forest. There's no way for them to do that unless they decide to go in and completely rewrite that and put a new code base. And I'm highly doubtful that they did that. And with the spooky tone of the Shattered Realm and the fact that... <laughs> It's Season of the Lost. It just makes perfect sense that this will be the ongoing new activity for Fessel Lost in future seasons. So again, my prediction is the Shattered Realm Legendary will be where we will go to go after triumphs and rewards for the Fessel Lost. However, that will probably add a match-made version of it to help with additional uh, difficulty. They did the same thing with the Haunted Forest where you have a solo version and then you had a version that you could actually match-make with other people. Expect modifiers, burns, and potential champions to spice up the activity. Again, we don't know and won't know for a few days, but that's what I would prepare for. Also, I assume we will all need to get new masks, and we already know that we're into getting a new ghost. So expect the unexpected when Festival Lost comes out, but again, I expect it to be the legendary version of the Shattered Realm, and just get prepared for that, and that's probably what the activity. That may disappoint some people because they might like the, the Haunted Forest, but again, I just can't see that coming back this season. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump into my Discord, and definitely for this one, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it too. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.